Okay, now in this video, we're going to show how we can use the reference edit control to get a range or have the user select cells and we have that information and put it into a user form. So to get started, go to your developers tab and select Visual Basic. Again, we'll be working with a user form today. So I'm going to go on and hit insert user form. And so I want to show you the difference between, of course, the text box control and the reference edit control. And the text box control which is the one that I have selected right here, doesn't have any kind of button on it. And in order for us to get information from the spreadsheet, I mean, it would make it very difficult. We would have to do a lot of coding to get cells from the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Like if a user was selected, it would be difficult for us to get the the active sheet and then the, the range. Not necessarily difficult, but you would need to code it. So to prevent that, there is a very useful control in our toolbox. It's called the reference edit control or ref edit. You can add that to your user form. And so when you hit play and when this is activated, the user can select in the background your spreadsheet or they can go on and select this button right here and they'll be able to select a range and we'll be able to know what range they've picked. And then afterwards, once you have that information, this is the way you would use it. I'm going to go on and put it put in a command button right here. And I'm going to double click the code. That was, I'm going to double click it that way we can get into the code. And the only thing that we have to do, we can put the range is equal to ref edit one dot value. That's the name of this control right here, ref edit one. And the value is pretty much just what's get what gets assigned in here. And then what you can do is to range the range, and then we can put that value as an example is equal to testing. And so all we're going to do here is we're going to play the form. If you're to click it right now, we're going to get an error. So you want to do a little if statement in here. See right now the range is equal to nothing. So for your error handling, just put if the range is equal to nothing, then put do nothing else, and then we put this code in right here. And if then you can play this. So now if we try it, we won't get an error, but now let's actually select some information. And you can hit the X button. If we were to click this, fills in the value as testing for the range that we've selected. There are several other functions that you can do. This is just one example where we're just assigning the value of the of the range. As an example, one more. And of course you're gonna you'll be able to modify this code to your preference, but we can put you know color should be some coloring options here. Interior dot color index is equal to five. Okay, and we'll play this code again. I'm gonna select the same range and then just play it. And there you have it. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is just a brief overview on the reference edit control. Thank you for watching.